time for your Friday Flicks preview brought to you by Alamo Draft House. Hitting the theaters this weekend, it's a fight to save the land between humans and fantasy creatures in Warcraft. And plenty more tricks up the sleeves in Now You See Me Too. Dark forces are upon us. In Warcraft, based on the game World of Warcraft, humans, orcs, and all sorts of fantasy creatures face off in an epic battle for the fate of the land. Much of the movie is CGI, but Paula Patton, who stars as a green-skinned half-orc warrior, had to go through the more traditional route of prosthetics, including fake tusks. It was intense, but it ended up being the way I got ready every day to become Gorona. Once I got the test in and made me feel not human, then I felt ready to play Gorona. I need no one to protect me. Well then. Ladies and gentlemen, the Four Horsemen. And in Now You See Me Too, the magical team known as the Four Horsemen are back with more tricks and more danger as they're recruited to pull off an impossible heist. Each member of the team, which includes Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, and Lizzie Kaplan, has a specific skill set. But it was Dave Franco's hypnotizing skill that may have felt the most real. I was learning from a real hypnotist on set, and we wanted to see what it was like on the other end, so we had him try to hypnotize us, and it gets to you. I can't say that I like went fully under, but you do feel a little foggy and a little out of it. It's all about kind of... Uh, just how you're talking and the rhythm that you're talking in. There's always more than what's on the surface. You can catch all these movies at all four Draft House locations, Stone Oak, Park North, West Lakes, and the Marketplace Alamo Draft House in New Braunfels. We also want to send you to catch these flicks this weekend. We have a family four-pack of tickets to Alamo Draft House to give away right now. All you have to do is head to salive.com and click on the banner. Enter your information for a chance to win. All of our rules and regulations are posted on salive.com as well. Well, speaking of movies, now you can watch that flick with a cold beer or beverage or whatever in your hand. Ryan McCormick from the Alamo Draft House is here with a taste of its new full bar menu and, of course, which is located in all of their uh, San Antonio locations. What up? We are making two drinks today, oh, right? Yeah. Now, Definitely. one of these drinks, one of these drinks is for kids and one of them isn't. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm just actually chilling a couple cocktail glasses. And what we're going to do, we're making two of our drinks. And what we want to start off with, first of all, we're going to have you actually slice some cucumbers. Okay. And we're going to start with one of our rated cocktails. And this is called the pear-shaped. Okay. So you're going to give me is a couple this? slices right there. Okay. There you go. Do you need more? Or is that That's good? perfect. Right All right. There. I think we're good. So is the pear is this pear shaped cocktail? This is the one for the adults, right? This is a doll. This is a PG thirteen cocktail, okay. and basically what that means is got a little more booze in it. Uh, definitely gonna have that liquor that you want. Okay. And this one's actually a tequila drink. So we're gonna take two of those uh, cucumbers. Go ahead and drop them inside of the cup right there. Okay. And then we'll grab a uh, little bit of that. And we'll use our measuring device. We'll do about half an ounce right there. And this is simple syrup? Simple syrup, yes, okay. right there. There we go. Just drop it right in. And now what we want to do is muddle. And we're going to go ahead and muddle that. You're just going to kind of impart that flavor right into, out of the cucumber, right into the drink. So that, yeah, this is, it's, it's kind of just infusing. Yeah, it, it's, right? it's a little work. You got to kind of, kind of get in there, but you know, it'll get done. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Okay. So, so the next thing that we, that we want to do is now that that's muddled and whatnot, do you want to have that flavor in there? We want to go ahead and take a little bit of our, we're going to do a little bit of our almond liqueur. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and drop about the same amount, a good half ounce. Okay. I like to use these measuring devices. Helps us to keep everything consistent. So any draft house you go to, they're all going to taste about the same. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put in uh, some tequila. So go ahead and do a little tequila in there. We'll do about an ounce and a half. You can you can just do that. The whole thing? It should be okay. uh, measured out already. There we go. All right, okay. cool. And then, of course, uh, for that, we're also going to put in some of our lemon juice. How much? Uh, we'll do about the same, about half an ounce right there. Okay. Whoop. Sorry. That's all right. We're good. These things do happen. <laughs> and then, last of all, we're going to go ahead and put in a little bit of our pear liqueur. Our pear liqueur is going to be about a, another half ounce. I'll go ahead and pour that one. Okay. Ryan's <laughs> like, like, if you do it, you're going to spill. If, if you can get it to pour here. <laughs> See, that's what I thought happened because the other one was kind of Wow, this one doesn't hard. want to come out. Yeah, yeah, well. There you we know, go. it happens. <laughs> and so with that pear liqueur, we got that right there. I'm going to okay. throw in a little bit of ice. Uh-huh. Just to kind of chill that drink down. I'm going to put this on top. 
and then I want you to go ahead and shake that up. Now you want to make sure the glass is facing backwards. So let's say you're behind the bar. Uh -huh. You don't want that drink, you know, like if the glass were to break the seal, I see. falling on the gas. So just go ahead and you can do a little dance with it if you want to too. Shake, 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 shake it. Shake, there you shake, go. shake, 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 shake it. Okay. All right, there I think we, we got it good enough. Now what we're going to do is we have our chilled martini glass. And the reason why we good. chill that, it is. It <laughs> That's is in there pretty good. For this, you just want to give it a little, I say a little ninja tap right there just on the side. Break go. that seal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and strain this drink right into a chilled martini glass. And we chilled that just so that that way it doesn't lose temperature. Sometimes the drink can lose about three degrees if you don't keep it chilled. Okay. Now, right. the we garnish for We are running out of time, this, so let's do the garnish. And pay attention to these folks because there's, this is, there's a right way to do this. The right way. You want to get that right over the glass. And we want to go ahead and get that zest squirting right in there and that's going to impart some aroma and there it is right there so that's why you want to do it right over the glass some people do it back here yeah, or whatnot definitely. but you want the zest to go right you want in the there zesty, and aroma and flavor basically all right well real quickly before we go you guys have a kids camp of course that features a special movie every week and the proceeds from the uh, admission to that camp benefit boysville and of course san antonio sports definitely, so definitely. absolutely help out if you can again for more information on alamo draft house just head to drafthouse.com